Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Path of Exile. It would appear that Grinding Gear games did something that the community does not like. It is not very often that you see a video or something that they release that gets ratioed by the community. And that is what we're going to talk about on this video. Now, before I begin, I'm hoping today is the day. If you think I've earned it in this basement that is getting remodeled, you make the decision to push that little red button. Only if you think I deserve it, making the decision to subscribe here so you get notified for all of my videos, I would really appreciate it. On top of that, I've officially started an action RPG Patreon. All the likes, comments, shares, all of that is amazing, and I appreciate it. If you want to take it one step further, first link in the description is to support me financially through my official Action RPG Patreon. You will become an instant Action RPG VIP and have lots of exclusive content through podcasts through Patreon. All right, as always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. Right now, we're on the website MMO Bomb. Title this article, Path of Exile has added a battle pass and lots of players do not like it. Yes, it is not a full blown battle pass, but Grinding Gear Games made the decision to put in a battle pass. Holy smokes, the $30 Curix Vault Pass offers eight cosmetic skins for popular end game items. Listen to this. Path of Exile has added its first battle pass, and like many games that try to do something new, the execution isn't sitting right with fans. The Curix Vault Pass costs $30 and requires players to complete objectives in the Atlas Worlds to unlock the eight cosmetic bonus skins and effects for popular endgame items. There are 117 objectives in all to, com to complete, with one reward given upon purchase and the other seven handed out approximately every 17 achievements. The pass will expire after the current league ends and it rewards will not be available after that. Okay, did you catch all that? So you're going to spend $30 for the chance to grind the battle pass to then get cosmetics. So you'll get one, but if you want the other seven, you have to knock out 117 objectives. <sighs> Responses to Kyrick's Vault Pass from the fans has been almost universally negative. It's not hard to see why. The skins are only usable for a select group of endgame items that even experienced players might not possess or use in their builds. The $30 price tag is the $30 price tag is seemed too much given the skin's limited number nature. And while I can't speak to the amount of work required to complete these objectives, it is extensive. Having over a hundred of them seems like an extraordinary amount of effort that has to be jammed into about three months, the typical duration of the league. We'll see if Grinding Gears Games keeps the Curix Vault pass as it is or makes some adjustments while it's still ongoing. In any case, we'd expect things to be handled differently if another pass is announced for the next league, unless people actually buy this one, despite many arguing against it. Enjoy the trailer, and then we'll actually look at some of the reactions after for Curix Vault Battle Pass Rewards. Welcome to Kyrix Vault, a paid pass that unlocks up to eight cosmetic unique item skins as you complete the bonus objectives of maps in Path of Exile's endgame. The Malevolent Watcher's Eye skin infests your passive skill tree and watches your mouse cursor as you plan your build. The Celestial Dying Sun skin causes all your projectiles to have celestial effects while your Dying Sun is active. The Indomitable Aegis Aurora skin makes it so that when you block, your Aegis lights up with a flare of energy shield. With the desecrated hands of the High Templar skin, the more corrupted implicits the gloves have, the stronger the corruption effect is. With the Vendetta Paradoxica skin, every time you attack, a clone of Paradoxica attacks with you. With the Titan's Molnir skin, every time you kill an enemy, a bolt of lightning strikes them. The Apostate's Bottled Faith skin drastically changes the Flask's Consecrated Ground effect. 
When using the Bloodthirsty Headhunter skin, every time you kill a rare monster to steal its abilities, its head explodes violently. Find out more information and purchase your pass at pathofexile.com slash vault. Now I want to be clear about this, okay? Nobody is mad because GGG released a bad product. All the MTX look amazing. They're top notch. I'm sure, and I'm sure they function great. It's not because they look bad. It is the battle pass. Now, we're on the official YouTube channel for Path of Exile, and we're going to check the like to dislike ratio on this video. And you're probably thinking, Aaron, you can't see dislikes anymore. You would be wrong. There is a way to do it if you get a certain extension on your browser. And the dislike to like ratio on this video is 1.5 thousand likes to 1.7 thousand dislikes. This is what they would like to call getting ratio. I've been there. Not a great feeling. I know. And actually, this was at 1.6, so it's gone up another 100 just in the time that I have been filming this video. More dislikes than likes. So let's go ahead and head down and we'll look at some of the comments. When Xana saw this, she has chosen Exile. The price range for, will forever be nonsensical as a purchase for a person like me. Wait a minute, this Kirika appeared out of nowhere. Mm -mm -mm. This pass is basically additional challenge league rewards you have to pay for every up and coming league and only for specific items. Now we know why Xana decided to leave. Reminder, they still have hundreds of uniques with no in-game art. Oh man, this is the one this is one of those few times I'd love to see the dislike count. Well, Gaming Den, I hope you watch this video because you can see the dislike. Should make it more general in my opinion. Hard pass for me at MTX Flask. Uh, if the skins worked on all base item types, it might be worth it. Excessive for 30 bucks. Too targeted for 30 bucks. I feel like some of these should be default on these uniques. Uh, what I want to know is how do I make my game look this nice? I don't even remember it looking that cool on the highest graphic settings. I have a GTX 1060, maybe other cards. Anyways. Not many positive comments on this bundle, but hey, what do I know? Maybe they are going to take a make a ton of money on this new battle pass. And that is where I'm going to leave this video. I want to know your opinion. Very simple. This is what I want to see in the comments. Yes, that we like it. No, if we don't. That's it. I just want to get a poll and hear everybody's opinion. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I've officially started a Patreon. It is the best way to support me in the future. First link in the description if you want to get some Patreon-only exclusive content and become an Action RPG VIP. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 1,500 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this kind of quick POE video. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.